The winds of change blew through Loftus Road as Rangers prepared for their ninth consecutive season in the top flight. Don Howe was sacked as first team coach to make way for a younger man. Jerry Francis returned to manage the club he captained as a player. England defender Paul Parker left for Manchester United in a £2 million deal. And Mark Falco joined Millwall for £175,000. Rangers signed Ian Holloway and Dennis Bailey, who both played for Francis at Bristol Rovers, and the Crystal Palace duo of Gary Thompson and Tony Witter. For the new manager, it was a case of welcome home. Well, I felt, um, you know, it was nice to come back to uh, a club that I'd spent 12 years as a player at, and um, obviously always felt it was my club, so to speak, in terms of uh, a personal situation. Um, but I, I did feel a little bit that, um, you know, that people hopefully weren't expecting um, things to happen overnight because uh, sometimes, you know, that happens, that you can wave a magic wand and it just happens, which, you know, you know and I know it doesn't happen that way and uh, changing things around uh, and making a club successful does take time. So, you know, in that respect I felt perhaps a little bit apprehensive, but, um, you know, very pleased and looking forward to the challenge and I knew it would be a challenge. Um, right from the off. Rangers faced the toughest possible start to their first division campaign, away to champions Arsenal. Roared on by 5,000 travelling fans, Jerry's men made the best possible start. 15 minutes played and Dennis Bailey hooked home Andy Sinton's flighted corner. So up come the big men from the back. Sinton with the corner. Floats it in nicely. Bailey, there it is! The opening goal for Queen Park Rangers, Dennis Bailey, a super volley. It gives them the lead and has made those travelling thousands happy. It hung in the air, Bailey getting in ahead of the Arsenal defender to finish nicely with the volley on his right foot. 1-0 QPR. Wilkins can't get a touch on that. Here's Limpar for Arsenal. A testing one just over. So close from Limpar to the equaliser. Running repairs. Can Wilkins continue? I fear not. This could be the end of Ray Wilkins' this afternoon. Headed away powerfully. Arsenal, though, still in possession of the ball on the edge of this area. Can QPR get it away? Bounces here towards Merson and a deflection. A scrappy goal, but Merson will claim it. It bounced past Limpa, it bounced past Adams, and it took a deflection on the way in. Rangers just a few seconds away from a famous victory. I think that um, probably overall it was a fair result on the day if you're looking you know, to extremes uh, from that point of view. But after that we had a, a run of games that we probably could have won uh, and drew or lost. So it was very difficult as well at the start that just before we started the season Alan McDonald done his ankle ligaments in a pre-season game and was out for a long time and obviously we lost Ray Wilkins on the opening day against Arsenal. So. Um, you know, th those two uh, players in particular were major setbacks for us. But the, the opening game against Arsenal was, uh, uh, you know, a game I'll remember and it was only a few seconds from actually winning the game. Ray Wilkins' tendon injury was to keep him out for three months. Ian Holloway deputised for Wilkins as Rangers returned for home matches against Norwich and Coventry. The Canaries spoiled Jerry's opening night at Loftus Road with a goal in each half. First, Dale Gordon beat Stayskill with a measured volley Then Newman turned in the second to complete Rangers' misery. Yeah. 
Coventry continued where Norwich left off, ripping the QPR defence to shreds as Mickey Jin scored with ease. Grzovic launches that one. Helps on its way. Coventry still have it. And down the middle here to Jin. Jin with a scoring chance. He slipped it past Stace goal. That's the opener. Coventry City have scored. Jin takes an injury. Holloway is Wegerly. Helped on its way again. Could drop to Wegerly here. Lovely touch, and that's the equaliser. Yes, it's there. A single goal defeat followed at Liverpool before a 4-1 setback at Sheffield Wednesday. Dennis Bailey's well-worked goal, the only bright spot of QPR's worst performance of the season. King for Wednesday, forward to Worthington, he's onside, cuts inside now, it's through to Palmer, and there's the opening goal for Sheffield Wednesday, Carlton Palmer has scored, set up by Paul Williams, King, Williams, nice little cross that, and Palmer's there again, yes, for goal number two, Carlton Palmer, well, a man that normally finds goals hard to come by has scored two already. Hurst. Has he got the pace to go past Wilson? He has. And Palmer's got his hat-trick. His first hat-trick for Sheffield Wednesday. And Palmer is delighted. Hurst. Down this near side. The cross in there. Has found Sheridan. What a volley. And Rangers are being torn apart. Nice header. And finished off there. It's no more than consolation for Rangers, but that's what it is. 4-1 the score. But that goal too late to save Queen's Park Rangers. The team were obviously missing captain Ray Wilkins, who was disappointed by his early season injury. How's it coming along, Ray? Um, slowly but surely. All right. I think you are. No idea. No idea. That's uh, what well, actually is the injury. Just had a little operation on the Achilles tendon. Still sore. You could say that. <laughs> you could say that. It's quite sore, but it's. Uh, I'm winning. That's the main thing. Is it hard setting it out uh, at this stage of the season? It's the hardest part. You know, you see the lads go out there and attempting to do their utmost, and uh, this is definitely the hardest part, sitting around and watching. What do you think to the start of the season that they've made? We've made a slightly unfortunate start. Um, we haven't played as well as we could have done. Um, but in many of the games, we've been a little bit unfortunate as far as the results have been concerned. We've performed quite well, but the, the breaks haven't gone our way, and unfortunately, we've lost. Back to Loftus Road, West Ham, the visitors. Rangers did everything except hit the net. Eight minutes gone. So the free kick, here it comes. There's Wegerly, the shot, just over the top from Roy Wegerly. That was a great free kick. Played in. Could be danger here. And the shot. And a close one for Trevor Morley. No, 